Greetings, esteemed lecturer Mr. Wang Chi Ho and valued friends. Great pleasure and anticipation that me and my group members extend a warm welcome to each and every one of you. Today, we gather here to embark on a captivating video presentation assignment that promised to enlighten, engage, and inspire us all. This video presentation is about invasive species policy in Malaysia, a review. Invasive species policies in Malaysia has been derived mainly in National Action Plan on Invasive Alien Species 2021 to 2025, National Action Plan on Invasive Alien Species in 2014 to 2018, and its subsequent renewal in 2022 for adoption in 2021 to 2025 are significant milestone for the invasive species management in Malaysia. This National Action Plan on Invasive Alien Species has been prepared under Target 11 in the National Policies on Biological Diversity 2016 to 2025, which reads By 2025, invasive alien species and pathways are identified. Priority species control and measures are in place to prevent their introduction and establishment. To address the invasive species impact on the economy, biodiversity, and formulate national strategies, strategies in combating. In UC species, the government of Malaysia had set up a national working group comprising a representative of various government ministries, departments, agencies, universities, and non-government organizations. The involvement of different organizations and agencies helped in the legislation, implementation, enforcement, monitoring, and research related to in UC species. This NAP Invasive Species 2021 until 2025 will be implemented by various target groups and responsible agencies. It contains 11 targets, 27 activities, and 69 sub-activities under three goals. So, first goal is to improve the understanding and public awareness of IAS, intensifying capacity, building for the implementation of the action plans, as well as enhancing research and development of IAS. And second goal is to establish a formal and transparent mechanism for risk assessment of alien species and initiate response plans and the capacity to contain and eradicate potential IAS before they are released into Malaysia. Lastly, the third goal is strengthen quarantine enforcement and inspection at Malaysia's entry points and international borders in controlling and preventing the entry and spread of IAS into Malaysia. In Target 11, by 2025, invasive alien species and pathways are identified and priority species control and measures are in place to prevent their introduction and establishment. In Target 9, uh, by 2020, invasive alien species and pathways I, are identified and prioritized are priority species are controlled and eradicated and measures are in a place to manage pathways to prevent their introduction and establishment. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Mama Akimin Bin Lakaria. My message number is S9, S59448. So for the first uh, goal is improve understanding and public awareness about IAS. The first target increase a research in all aspects of IAS management, including understanding their pathway and ecological impact and development technology to contain and control IAS. Next, educate the public at the large of the tree of IAS and the problem posed by the syndrome of white animals and plants, addition, addition, uh, accidental import escape from the legitimate enterprise and the pet trade. Besides that, uh, the strain information sharing among the uh, relevant stakeholders. Okay, the next target is Identify extension service to stakeholders so that prevention, control, eradication, and mitigation if if NIS can be effectively implemented. Okay, lastly, development implemented program of work to control manage the risk of IS from sheet ballast, wet water, and sediment. Okay, thank you. Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. My name is Putri Amanda Sofia Binti Hashim and my metric number is 59529. So we move to goal 2, conduct risk assessment on all introduced exotic species before their release. Firstly, establish a formal and transparent mechanism to ensure that 
all alien species are subject to a rigorous risk assessment. And then next, uh, establish response plans and the capacity to contain and eradicate potential invasive species. Um, that's all from me. Thank you. Goal number three is strengthen quarantine inspection and enforcement at entry points and international borders. The first target of goal three is enhance the enforcement of legislation on importing, trading, and keeping wild animals, fishes, and plants. The next target is implement provision of the International Maritime Organization Police Water Management Convention to safeguard against maritime invasive species. The other target of Goal 3 is enhance quarantine facilities and improve the skills and capabilities of quarantine, customs, and other border officials. Last target is strengthen and monitor the implementation of the National Action Plan for the Prevention, Eradication, Containment, and Control of IES.